Okay, here come the fellow. Hey guys, today we're out here in Tiawaroa and today we're gonna to be figuring out some new ways to stack cash fast despite the new increased spook radius that was introduced with the last update. That new spook radius when firing a weapon of approximately 270 to 300 meters is making grinding for cash that much harder. So today we're going to be doing some hunting here in New Zealand and we're going to try and figure out some strategies to make some cash fast even after the last update. So I have tripods with me. Today I am carrying with me the Virant 22 LR and that is for class one species like turkeys and mallards that we now have in Te Awaroa and I do prefer it over the Zarza 22 because the Virant has 10 shots and you can find the Virant 22 in weapon pack one. I have the Vasquez Cyclone 45 air rifle which comes in weapon pack one three and I do have the Hawk Edge CB70 bow and I do have all the ammo all the different arrows so I can use it on any species on the map and that is a non-DLC bow and of course I do have my Apex V binoculars and I am carrying tripods. Now a quick tip with the tripods guys is when you are purchasing tripods or tents or any structures at all make sure to purchase the same variation because one weighs the same as literally a hundred in your backpack as long as they are the same variations they stack. And of course these fellow are fleeing because I am very smelly. They're not supposed to be behind me. And we have some big boys. All right, so these guys are feeding. So here's the air rifle. It has seven shots. It zeroes in at 2550 and 100 meters max. So it doesn't have huge zeroing, but it is very, very quiet. Let's see, this fallow doe is approximately 150 meters away. So I'm going to see, the further away I can shoot things with the air rifle, the less they're gonna hear of it and the less likely they are going to be to spook. But even if I spook other fallow, other herds of animals in the area are not going to spook. These guys are gonna have no clue. I'm not gonna spook these ducks but I would like to take at least a few fellow down in order to make some cash. Let's see if we can take this fellow down. Now, because I'm only able to zero to 100, I'm going to, oh, they're gonna start to walk. I'm gonna have to aim above the fallow, but actually maybe I won't because they are coming in closer. All right, so we're just gonna be patient. Ooh, he is pretty. He is a pretty boy. And if they are actually gonna run around me, that might be a problem with the wind. Okay, I think they're coming in right to me. The other thing I have on me is the bow, and if they get really, really close to me, I will use the bow over the air rifle. All right, I'm gonna try and take this guy. He is 60 meters, so I'm gonna zero to 50. Here we go. I don't know if I got a vital. I did, I got him, but I did spook the other deer out because they got too close to me. That's unfortunate but they are only lightly spooked. They will come back a lot faster than if I had fired off, say, the 30 odd six, because they're not hugely spooked. So they will eventually come back. But while we're waiting for them to come back, we also have the Virant 22 and there should be some ducks or turkeys around, are there? There's a turkey. I see some turkeys. All right, sweet. Now I'm gonna try and take all my shots from a hunting structure because when you're in a hunting structure, guys, you can kill 15 animals before deleting the zone and the 16th kill deletes the zone. But out of a hunting structure, you can only kill three and the fourth kill will delete your zone. So you wanna protect your zones. Oh, here comes another very pretty fallow. I have a gift for him. We have a lot of fallow right over there and we do have ducks. Absolutely sweet. We're gonna actually sneak up to them. Now, unfortunately, because he's so close to me, these other does are going to spook, but here we go. See the blood splurting out of him? And we got him. Oh! I think I got the female. I did. And you know what? If they're running, zero to 100 and far away. We're trying to make some cash here. Take as many as we can. And there is seven shots in the air rifle. But the ones behind me have not spooked. Look at that. All right. I got a gift for you, little lady. How'd you like to turn for me? She's alert. I'm gonna call her just to turn her. I don't think I got a vital on her. All right, my zeroing must have been off. That's unfortunate. But this guy's not spooked. How you doing, my dude? All right, how far are you? 112, okay. 
Now guys, let me know in the comments what your favorite way to make cash is and if it still works since the update. Oh, splat! Beautiful! First shot didn't work, but we did get the fallow and we did get a heart shot. So we've got a few down now. So now I'm just gonna be patient and wait for more fallow to show up. Now what you can do to speed up the process, guys, is once you take down a few fallow, go and pick them up and then exit to main menu, come back, jump into your tripod and fallow will come right back in. Let's do that. It is just way harder to make cash with the new spook radius. It's really, really tough now. But yeah, the air rifle's good for classes two to four. There are lots of species here in New Zealand that are class three and class four. And look at that shot! That was a beautiful shot and not a bad fallow. Almost a thousand dollars. And if you are looking for mallards, guys, there is a ton of mallards around these two lakes. Just a ton of them. And let me show you where we are on the map. We are in the top two lakes in the top right hand corner at Motorangi Inlet right there so i do highly recommend dropping a tent and as you can see i have dropped several tripods around my fallow deer drink zones i did have a zone here but i may i may have blown it out but that way you can go on either side of them depending on where the wind is blowing and you will be safe but this is the kind of lake where if you do blow out all of your drink zones they will come right back in the same spot so if you don't want to worry about protecting your zones, don't worry about it. Now before we pick up our deer and leave the game and come back and try that strategy once again, we do have some turkeys here and they're a great way to make cash. So and I do have the Virant 22 on me and it zeroes up to 150 meters. So you can either get 150 meters away from turkeys or each dot on the scope is 50 meters. Okay. So if he's 150 meters away, I want to aim right at the crosshairs, but if my turkey is 200 meters away, I want to aim at the second dot, 250, 300, 350. And it really isn't that hard to take out turkeys that are 350 meters away, and I actually love doing it. It is very, very fun. But you want to be quick because they will start to spook really quickly. You want to take down as many as you can. Now I'm looking at where they are. Even if I don't use a hunting structure, I could get in here and do it. It's gonna blow out this feed zone, but it's not going to affect my drink zones, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, and they're on the trot, so we better start shooting. Here we go. One shot, we'll do the job. That's three, that's four, and one got away. Okay, what a beautiful fallow, 215.87. He's gonna pay us just over $1,000 and that was a 43.19 meter shot with the air rifle. Very sweet. And a female, $731. And the virant is very quiet too. So a turkey, $816, that's just for a female. Oh my gosh, 320 meters? And that's because I got a flesh shot. I actually didn't hit it, but they have big hitboxes, so it's given it to me and I'm gonna take it. $718 with a non-vital shot. You don't need a vital with a turkey, anything that's class one. Any shot into it that kills it is a vital shot. But if you actually do hit a vital, they just die quicker, which is what you want. Okay, so we made about 4,000 from those four turkeys. Okay guys, so I traveled back to the tent. I'm just gonna put it back an hour so we have more time for fallow deer. Fallow deer drink from 10 until 1300. So we're gonna rest, then we're gonna go back to the home menu and go back in. Now there's nothing here yet, so let's go jump in the tripod and do some waiting. Okay, so we're in the tripod. I have one doe coming in. Taking them one at a time is probably smart because you're gonna spook less. Okay, here we go. Not a good shot. What is happening? But no one else is spooked. That is the exciting part. All right, we got a good shot on her. And the beauty is these fallow have no clue. That's the beauty of the air rifle. Okay, we have a few does behind us, even though we have a bad wind. Let's see if we can take a couple of them out. Here we go. I got two and I got them both. I wonder if I can shoot this turkey without spooking the fallow. Let's try it. Here we go. They're alert, but they're not spooking. Now he is gonna die, but if he flies, we're gonna have to track him really far. I don't wanna put another shot into him because I may spook the fallow. But what can happen is even though they don't 
actually run away. They can figure out something's going on and they can just start to walk and just walk right away from their zone. So you don't want to take another shot until they are calm and they are calm again. Beautiful. All right, so this fallow's 140 meters out. I wonder if every dot's 50 meters with this too. If it is, then I'm gonna aim about right here. Oh, that looked good. Yep, it was good and they haven't spooked. Yes. All right, so now we're just gonna chill until they are calm and we're gonna do it again. I don't know where I hit her, but I definitely got a good shot. And once again, they are not spooking. So if you just take your time with this, each dot is 50 meters, seems like. You can definitely take down any level two to four species from even up to 200 meters. Just use the second dot. Don't think, oh, it was a good shot. Absolutely sweet. We only have one left, so no point in waiting for this one to calm down. 150 meters as well. Turn for me, baby. Missed the heart. Don't think I got an organ there. But we tried. Once they get away, forget it. But we did pretty darn good there. So if you're patient, all you need is the air rifle, a tripod, and come over here to New Zealand and you can take out entire herds if you're patient enough and make some serious cash. The air rifle, it really is an underrated rifle, but it is one that we really need to be using with the new increased spook radius. I hope that helps you guys out. Click here guys to learn all the updated hotspots in New Zealand since the update. Here is the T. Awaroa Super Guide. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button for more content and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.